All right, so it's Wednesday, Wednesday before Veterans Day. So it makes it November 10th today. Tomorrow's November 11th. Um, taking pretty much from November 11th and November, about November 11th to November 12th, 13th, I'm gonna take off. My father-in-law's coming down here and um, yeah, I'm be flying around me. But uh, my father-in-law's coming down here and we're actually gonna go down to the family land we're going to spend about most of the weekend camping hunting trying to get something um but i'm up here at this hay field that i'm allowed to hunt i'm about to pull this lock on stand and take it with me to the farm and put it out so here we go hopefully it's going to be a good weekend I don't know why, but something tells me that I've been hunting on the wrong side of the property. Um, I don't know if you can see it. There's a pretty, pretty nice rub right there. Uh, there's another one back just a little bit. So I may, after this weekend, um, bring the stand up here and put it. So we'll see. I'm just trying to um, get an idea of what I'm looking like up here. I don't know exactly what the terrain is by any means but right now it looks like really really thick stuff which i mean that's where the big bucks are going to be they're going to be in that thick junk that nobody wants to crawl through to be honest with you i don't really want to crawl through it so let me just ride around here see if we find us an opening to slip down the woods for a second like I found where the swamp donkeys are staying it's literally and there's a thick 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 hedgerow right over there and it comes I don't know maybe 15 yards and then the hedgerow pretty much stopped and then she had this um, just privet pretty much and then it comes to this kind of stuff and the next thing you know it's straight swamp. I feel like this is where you're gonna get the big deer. I could be wrong, but I need more cameras in my arsenal. But I feel like this is a really nice spot right here.
It's actually been a really decent morning so far. I've seen two bucks, a 10, a 10 point and an eight point. 10 point was through some thick stuff I couldn't shoot and eat, I couldn't even video through. And I saw that eight point that I just got on video. And there's a doe um, moving around here too. I mean, it's, they're, they're moving right now, which I'm actually kind of surprised to be honest with you. It rained last night, but I guess that's helping them move around some. Um, so me and my father-in-law father got down here at the right time, I think. It, it, the rut's really just right now starting to pick up. The bucks are starting to move in daylight. I mean, that's two after eight o'clock that I've seen. Um, I think it's gonna be a good day or a good, good weekend for us. We won't have to hunt hard though. But yeah, it's a good day so far. Hopefully it gets even better when one of us kills one. I just want to take a second and appreciate the size of this rub right here on this tree. Uh, you, you see how big my hands are. I mean, that's a 10 inch tree and he about wrapped around it. That's a good deer right there. All right. It's Friday evening. Headed up for the evening hunt now. I'll try to get in here and hopefully kill something before too long. Father in law is going to a different spot, so hopefully he gets one. Um, it's been a decent day today. After we got done hunting this morning, we came back, fixed us up some biscuits, eggs, and bacon. It was pretty good. And then, let's see, what else did I do? Has some orange juice with it. And that was kind of a brunch, and we got some firewood. So we gonna have some fire tonight. We didn't get in last night in time for enough to put, uh, to get firewood. So, yeah, pretty productful afternoon. Went and got us a water barrel for extra water in case we need it all right i'm back out here in the stand oh, on the ground i'm sitting where i sat first thing this morning just watching a fire break and hoping something crosses it there's a lot of bucks up in here a lot of rubs on some trees um so hopefully one decides to cross it and we uh we'll seal the deal so yeah Stick tight and enjoy this beautiful evening.
is Saturday, November 13th. It's a beautiful morning this morning. Had about 48 degrees for the first thing. Sunny. Very little wind. It's a beautiful day, to say the least. Squirrels are out moving. I just need the deer to move. Um, I'm back in the spot where I saw a buck yesterday, so hopefully he decides to come back through. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Hopefully the father-in-law gets him one. Um, I'm going to sit a little bit later this morning, hope, hoping that one works its way out. So we'll see. Y'all sit tight. We'll see what happens. All right, well, I'm headed up out of here. I'm about 10 o'clock. I'm gonna go get some breakfast. Um, I'll probably try to get out a little bit earlier this evening. Rather than waiting so late, I'm gonna be sitting in standby about three o'clock just to kind of let things settle. But it's a beautiful morning this morning, as you can tell. Sunny wind blowing cool don't get very many mornings like this and not one single deer move during daylight so who knows just gonna get on up here towards the camper and get us a little breakfast going almost be about time for lunch but I think we're going to cook up some steaks. Uh, maybe some bratwurst, but I'm not sure just yet. I'll get up there and figure it out. Now I got a three quarter mile, three quarter mile hike back to the camper. Who knows, we might see one walking out. fresh scrape right there uh, it's been made since I left out of here this morning or last night probably made by a buck I saw when I was coming in um, who knows deer are hard to get sometimes good afternoon Saturday afternoon here, headed to the deer stand. Packing it in the light. Has a decent afternoon. We got a we got a good belly full. We had steak. Um, had a little fire get out, so we had to put out a little little grass fire, but that was no biggie. Um, it's a pretty evening. Nice and comfortable. So I'm only gonna hunt in the edge of this little field. Hope something steps out. Excuse me. I got deer tracks and our tire tracks from where we drove and collected wood yesterday. So that's good. At least shows me that there's some, some deer in here. Fresh scrape. Oh yeah good deer tracks coming through too so the bucks are cruising right now they just gotta cooperate with me so I can give them a little bit of a bruising see what I did there but anyways it's been a pretty decent weekend we're just having fun doing little odds in in end projects here and there but about time to get in the deer stand, sit till dark. Man, there's a bunch of deer track coming through here. And fresh too, because we had a rain Thursday night. And uh, Thursday night, right? So these tracks are less than 24 hours old. Not fresh scrapes, but deer tracks in the scrape since the rain but uh yeah we're gonna get set up on this little box blind 
and uh, I'm looking forward to tonight's hunt. I'm hoping it's going to be a decent one. Hopefully something steps out. I'm looking for either another mature doe or a decent buck. Um, if that 10 point steps out that I saw yesterday, I'm going to let him have it. Oh, it's an armadillo. Boy, if I had suppressed my suppressed 300 blackout, I'd smoke him. But anyways, that's that for now. I'll catch you up in the deer stand. Settled into the stand. My father-in-law, he's going to try something a little different. He's going to hunt out of the back of his truck. Um, he's going to hunt. Uh, he's going to park in the edge of the field, kind of hide his truck a little bit. And he's going to, he got him a rocking chair in the back of that thing. He got a little shooting sticks. And uh, he's just going to watch the edge of the field. And the reason why he's doing that because he just had rotator cuff surgery. So he's not able to do, he, it's hard for him to get in our stands a lot. And um, he's just making it comfortable for himself. So in all honesty, I hope he gets one. So we're out here just having us a good time. It's good just to get away for a little bit, kind of unplug. And uh, it's just a, a really relaxing, relaxing time. So I think he's enjoying himself. I know I'm enjoying myself. But we're just going to have to sit this one out. Hopefully a good side of deer comes out. We're, uh, I think it's going to be a good evening. If not tomorrow, not tonight, I think tomorrow we're going to seal the deal. But hopefully we don't have to wait to that long. Um, but hey, it's just part of it. That's why they call it hunting and not killing. Catch you later. Hopefully something comes out. I got my first visitor of the evening. Ain't exactly what I was looking for, but if I had a 22, I would nail his hide.
this view since I was 10 or 11 years old. I'm 24 years old now. It took me that long to be able to kill a deer out of this little field right here. It's crazy. I finally got me. I'm slowly starting to get some deer down here. I've never killed a deer down here until last year when I shot a little buck down here. Let's go recover this thing. Literally, as I was climbing out of the stand, a really big doe popped out in this corner. But, uh, can't always get big deer. And all, honestly, if you shoot some of the smaller does, I got an armadillo right here. If you shoot some of the smaller does, it lets the bigger does and the more mature does be able to breed better. Um, Here, girl, where you at? I know you're in here somewhere. Got an armadillo that's just hopping on. Alright, where you at? Here. I know you're hiding. Alright, where's she at? She's blending in so well. Oh, there she is. She's further than I thought she was. Okay, she wasn't, she wasn't tiny. Dang. There ain't no ground shrinkage on her. Holy cow. Another really mature doe down. I thought she was smaller than this. She ain't. Here she is. She's a good sized doe. Really good size. I'm gonna drag her out here and set everything up. Oh. Once again, another good, good Georgia there. She ain't as big as that last one, but I mean, she's not far behind. She's good side there. Pretty, pretty, pretty coat. Can't thank the Lord enough for this. Thank you, Lord. Man. She's good side though. Another one for the books. I don't know how well you can see me, but here comes my ride. Get her loaded up, skinned out, and quarter her up. It's gonna be a good night. Put her on ice.
That'd be funny.